welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new here. I know with the new year, 2020, a new decade, we are going to have a ton of new my WW, WW, Weight Watchers people coming onto YouTube and trying to get some great ideas of not only how to get started on WW, but also what do I eat? How do I pick the best lowest point foods for me? Well, I am here, my friends, to share with you my top 20 for 2020 WW foods. I'm gonna have everything from main meal components to snacks, you name it, even some drinks thrown in there, you name it, I'm gonna be sharing it with you today. So if you're new to WW, welcome. We are so excited to have you. Make sure you check out all of the other channels on YouTube that follow WW. This is a wonderful, wonderful community and a place full of a wealth of information. So definitely check out YouTube. Also, I'd love to have you join my Facebook group. I'm gonna put it right there on the screen for you. So head on over to my Facebook group, join us there. Again, over 11,000 members, full of information that will help you get started and be successful on your WW journey. So what I'm going to do for today's video, again, is share with you my top 20 for 2020 WW foods. I don't have all of these foods on hand nor is it, does it make a lot of sense for me to just hold them up and show you. It's hard for the camera to focus. So I decided what I'm gonna do is right here, I'm gonna insert a picture of all 20 items. It'll be crystal clear, it'll be a lot easier for you to see exactly what the item is, and I'm going to share with you the smart points of that particular item as well. So let's jump right in to my top 20 for 2020. <laughs> All right, so number 20. We're gonna go from 20 down to one. Number 20 on my favorite WW Foods list is the Jarlsberg Light Swiss Cheese. This cheese is amazing. It is big, thick slices of cheese, and it is only one smart point on any plan that you're on. You feel like you are indulging in a full fat, delicious cheese, and it is only one smart point. I buy mine at my local Trader Joe's. I've also heard that you can find this cheese at Costco or Sam's Club. Unfortunately, in my area, Costco doesn't carry it and we don't have Sam's Club, but I always pick it up at Trader Joe's. And I'm telling you for one smart point, it's the best cheese option out there. It melts like a dream and it literally tastes like a full fat cheese. Number 19 is smart buns. Smart buns, smart cakes, and smart muffins. And they're pretty smart because not only are they delicious, but they are incredibly low in points. So first, let's start with the smart cake. I've been eating these on my entire weight loss journey. I love, love, love these. They are only one smart point on all plans and they come in so many great flavors. They are a little cake with a sugary crumb coating. You can eat them by yourself, by themselves. You can add a little fat-free ready whip. My favorite way to eat them is to make a parfait with the smart cake, some yogurt, and some fat-free ready whip. Oh my gosh, you guys, it is to die for. I love the smart cakes, and for one smart point, you can't beat it. Also, their newest product, the smart muffins, are delicious. I will tell you that the chocolate chip is my least favorite. I love the pumpkin spice. I don't know if it's still available and they just came out with the banana nut. So good. These are huge muffins, Costco size muffins, and they range from two to three smart points. They're great to pair with some eggs and some fruit for breakfast. They really truly are delicious. They're packed with some fiber so they keep you full. And lastly from Smart Baking are the Smart Buns. Now these are the one smart point hamburger buns. I like them. There's a lot of controversy out there. Some people like them, some people don't. I like them. They are one smart point. They do have a little bit of a different texture and I find that the best way to eat them is to put them on a grill and toast them. Get them nice and crispy or put them under your broiler in the oven. My opinion, that's the best way to eat the Smart Buns. It kind of takes away that odd texture and makes them taste like a real hamburger bun. But for one Smart Point, for a full-size hamburger bun, you can't beat it. So highly recommend all three of these products. They all come from Smart Baking. All of the links to everything will be down below for you guys as long as I can find the link. Uh, for Smart Baking Company, I do have a 10% off discount code. That'll be here on the screen for you. You can go on there, do some shopping, pick up some fun, delicious WW snacks, buns, muffins, and save 10% while you're at it. Number 18 is the Trader Joe's Sprouted Wheat Sourdough Bread. 
I'm obsessed. I'm literally obsessed with this bread. It is so delicious. Now, it is a little bit more point heavy than say the Sara Lee 45 calorie bread, but in my opinion, that bread is flimsy and hollow. It doesn't taste good, it's kind of cardboardy. This bread, you guys, is delicious. It is full of sprouted grains and it has seven grams of protein per slice. It is thick, it is dense, delicious. It is two smart points per slice or you can have two slices for four smart points. So essentially it's a point more than the Sara Lee, but it's worth every single ounce of that point more because the bread is absolutely delicious. And where else are you going to find a bread that has seven grams of protein? So highly recommend the Trader Joe's sprouted wheat sourdough bread. Number 17 are wraps. Wraps are your friends. My favorite wraps are both the Olay Extreme Wellness Wrap and I also really like the Tomorrow's Wraps. Both of these wraps are one smart point a piece. These are game changers, absolute game changers. Not only can you make wraps with these, I make quesadillas with these, I make breakfast items, breakfast burritos with these. Seriously, they are a game changer on WW. You cannot beat one smart point for a wrap. Have them in your family's taco night. Make your favorite copycat, dupe for a breakfast burrito. And my favorite thing to do with these wraps is to make quesadillas. I love quesadillas and they are not point friendly, not point friendly at all, but I use these wraps and I make them point friendly and they are delicious. You can find these wraps at pretty much every one of your local grocery stores. I buy mine at either Walmart or Fred Meyer, which is a Kroger store, but I've seen them just about everywhere. So it should be a pretty simple find for you. Highly recommend adding some of these to your cart and keeping them on hand on your WW program. Number 16 is Laughing Cow Cheese Wedges. There are so many flavors of these cheese wedges and they are one smart point on every plan. They are creamy, so creamy. What I use these for mostly is with those wraps, I will spread them as my cheese and my condiment. So I'm kind of getting a two for one out of my Laughing Cow Cheese and it adds such a great flavor, but it also gives me the feeling that I not only have mayo on there, but I also have my cheese. And for one smart point, you can't beat it. They have so many flavors, everything from garlic and herb, creamy Swiss. They even have a pepper jack one that is super delicious. I even think there's a hot and spicy one if that's kind of your, your jam. So I highly recommend the Laughing Cow Cheese Wedges. People dip crackers in them, chips in them. I also like to spread them in celery and that's a one smart point snack and it's absolutely delicious. Again, you can pick these up at most grocery stores. They are going to be in the refrigerated, fr refrigerated section either with the cheeses and sometimes they're over in the produce deli section with some of your specialty cheeses but definitely always have some laughing cow on hand you can also freeze these if you don't go through them fast enough that changes the texture just a tad but i've bought them at costco and frozen them and i've used them as well so that's an option if you don't feel that you'll go through them fast enough or maybe you find a great deal and you stock up so definitely pick up laughing cow cheese wedges number 15 is fat free ready whip if you watch my grocery hauls i buy it every week because there was one week one that I did not have that free ready whip and I freaked out. It is such a staple for me. I love, love, love it. It is zero smart points on any plan until you have, I wanna say like five or six tablespoons. I'll put it here on the screen for you guys, but you can have so much of this fat free ready whip for zero points and then you can have even more and more and more for one smart point. So it is delicious. You can top it on your coffee, your hot chocolate. Again, I love it in the parfait with the yogurt and the smart cake. I just love it in general. It is so good. It's that nice creamy sweetness of a whipped topping. And again, for zero to one smart point, I feel like you have literally piles of fat free ready whip. So again, found at your local grocery store. It is generally with all of the other canned whip topping by the milk section. So pick up some fat free ready whip. You won't be sorry. Number 14 is Siggy's yogurt. Now this is my all time favorite yogurt, not only because it tastes delicious, but the ingredients in this yogurt are stellar. There is nothing artificial. There's cane sugar, there's milk, there's live active cultures, there's fruit. Nothing in this yogurt is artificial. It is three smart points per container and make sure you are picking up the yogurt that is 0% milk fat. If you get the ones that are one or two or three 
0% milk fat, it's definitely going to skyrocket up the points. But if you get the 0% milk fat, they are three smart points per container, and I love them. They are thick and creamy and delicious. There are other great WW Friendly yogurts out there, such as Dan and Light and Fit. Those ones are two smart points per container, or Oiko's Triple Zero, again, two smart points per container. If you're looking for just a really clean ingredient yogurt, I recommend Siggy's. But if you're looking for a low point delicious yogurt, any of those three would be fantastic additions to your refrigerator. Number 13 are the healthy eating all the time and go bars. I'm obsessed with these. Again, these are full of all natural clean ingredients. Less than 10 ingredients, actually less than five ingredients in most of the bars. They're built with almond or peanut butter. There's cranberries in there. There's rich chocolate, sunflower seeds, all the goodness of whole food in these bars. They are absolutely delicious. They are a little point heavy, so I use them as a meal replacement. So sometimes I'm on the road, being a realtor for breakfast or lunch. So I'll throw one in my bag and it is a meal replacement. It's satisfying, it's filling. They range anywhere from six to seven smart points. So again, they are a little bit more point heavy and that's going to be on all plans, but they really truly are delicious. They are filling, satisfying, and full of all amazing ingredients. And the macros, those macros are amazing on these bars, seriously. The macros are on point. You can pick these bars up online. I do have a code for 12% off of your order. It is not an affiliate link. I don't receive any commission. It's my way to serve you by giving you this great product and it helps her out. She's a one man show, a little small business, but these bars are seriously so good. So use my code here on the screen for 12% off. Go pick up the healthy eating all the time and go bars, throw them in your fridge, have them on hand for a meal replacement. Again, for those smart points, we spend it on a meal. So if we are using it as a replacement, it makes sense. They're delicious, they're filling, and they're full of great ingredients. Number 12 are poppables. We all need a little crunchy, salty, something, something in our life and poppables are the one. They are so good. They're about the size of a quarter. They're an airy, fluffy, chip. They look somewhat like a 3D diamond, so to speak. They are super good. They have several flavors, salt, cheddar, jalapeno. I mean, they have several delicious flavors of these poppables and they are so good. You get a ton for four or five smart points and that's on all plans as well. You can just knock down the number of poppables that you eat to knock down the points. If you don't know how to do that, it's very simple. Go into your app, type in poppables, track that item and where it shows you the number of chips in your serving, just spin the little wheel and lower the number of chips and it will lower the smart points. So you can make it fit into your daily budget. And if you are a crunchy, salty fan, poppables are the way to go. In my opinion, they are the best tasting lowest point chips. Second to those are pop chips. Pop chips are absolutely delicious as well. Again, my favorite is the barbecue. They take the place of that crunch factor and you get just a ton of them for the smart points. Great to pair with a sandwich or maybe a wrap for breakfast. So if you are a chip person, definitely add these two poppables and pop chips to your list. Number 11 are nuts. Nuts scare a lot of Weight Watchers because they are high in fat, which generally makes them high in points. But I will tell you that nuts are very good for you. They are satisfying. They're a good bit of fat and protein. They're a perfect, perfect snack. I pair my nuts sometimes with either a cheese stick or a fruit, but I know that they're point heavy, but you can just lower your portion size and work them into your day. I have to say that my very favorites are the bold almonds. I love the wasabi and soy sauce. That one's my favorite, the salt and vinegar. You don't have to have plain boring almonds or plain boring nuts. You can get the ones that have the flavorings and the coatings that make them taste absolutely delicious. Again, if you just lower the number of nuts that you're eating, it lowers the smart points. And you do that the exact same way by going into your app, tracking your nut and lowering the number of pieces that you're eating. And again, work them into your day. But don't take nuts off the market because you joined Weight Watchers because they truly are such a great snack. I would say that on average, I eat nuts one or two days a week. And on the nut topic, you can even buy them in individual 100 calorie packs. They have the Smokehouse almonds. I think they have an almond walnut mix. They are pre-portioned four smart points per package no matter what plan you're on. And that way you don't overeat your nuts. That's where I struggle. I actually have to weigh them out 
bag them up and have them on hand or I'll just take them out of the bag and overeat them because they're that delicious. But again, they're satisfying, they're full of a healthy fat and a great source of protein. So a fabulous snack, especially when you're on the run. All right, we're halfway there. Number 10 is protein powder. Have a protein powder on hand at all times, not only for protein shakes, but also to bake with. It makes a great baking substitution and it gives you a big punch of protein in your baked goods. I have a favorite protein. In fact, it's the only one you're going to find in my house and that is Devotion. Devotion Nutrition Protein is the best. It has the best ingredients. It is bloat free. It has MCT oil, which is a healthy fat. It is loaded with 20 grams of protein. It comes in two absolutely delicious flavors, Angel Food Cake, which is a vanilla type of a protein powder and brownie batter, which is Devotion's chocolate protein powder. They are absolutely delicious. They don't taste like a protein powder. There's no chalkiness. There's no whey taste. There's no aftertaste. They do not make you bloat like a lot of other whey proteins. They just truly taste delicious. The Angel Food Cake is one smart point. The brownie batter is two smart points. I use the Angel Food Cake a lot in baking. It is what I generally use that particular flavor for. Now, don't get me wrong, I do love it in a protein shake, but my favorite one in a shake is the brownie batter. And my shake of choice is one scoop of the Devotion brownie batter, a cup of almond milk, a frozen banana, and some PB2. So good, so good. It is literally like a chocolate banana peanut butter milkshake. It is creamy thick. Oh, I'm obsessed. I love Devotion. Again, you won't find any other brand of protein powder in my house. They're my all-time favorite. Highly recommend that you pick them up. Devotion kindly offered a discount for me to give to you guys so that you can pick up their products and try them and fall in love with them just like I did. So on my screen here is the link for Devotion. You actually have to click the link down in the description box and it'll give you 10% off of your order. So definitely check it out. Go check out their website. They have some flavor enhancer packets that are really good in zero points. You can put them in yogurt and coffee. They just have a great line of products. And the fact that they taste good, they don't taste like a protein powder, they're bloat free, and they have 20 grams of protein is an absolute win on WW. Number nine is sugar-free coffee creamer. I love coffee, literally obsessed. This girl loves coffee. And I like black coffee, but in the morning, I always make iced coffee with my espresso machine, and I have to have some sort of flavor, sweetness, creamer. So I love the coffee meat sugar-free creamers. My very favorite is the peppermint mocha. It is currently out for just a little bit longer. I really like the Italian sweet cream. If you pick up the sugar-free creamers, they just add that little extra bit of sweetness and creaminess to your coffee. And you can have up to three tablespoons of the creamer for one smart point. That's it. That's a lot of creamer for one smart point, and that's on all plans. Again, my favorite is the peppermint mocha. It is a seasonal flavor. I will tell you too, if you can find these on a good sale, or maybe if you fall in love with the peppermint mocha and you really kind of want to have it all year long, you can buy a whole bunch of the creamers and freeze them, and you pull them out of the freezer. They thaw and they taste just like they did the day you picked them up off the grocery store shelf. So they really truly are delicious. The one thing I will say about the sugar-free creamers is some of their ingredients, some people consider questionable, but sometimes you gotta take one for the team and you just gotta have something you really love that is point friendly. So for me, that sugar-free creamer, I love it. I drink it every day. I'll probably continue to drink it every day, but highly recommend sugar-free creamer to add to your coffee. Number eight, Tyson blackened chicken strips. These are incredible. I, they also carry a salt and pepper flavor. I have not been able to find those locally to me, unfortunately, but I'm obsessed with the blackened chicken strips. You can find them at any local supermarket. I found them at Costco in a big bag. They are delicious. They are seasoned perfectly. They do have a little bit of a kick. So if you don't like spice at all, they may be a little on the spicy side for you. Those of you that know me know that I am not a big fan of spice and I really like them. I do find that they are a little bit spicy, but 
I manage because they're absolutely delicious. They are super easy to cook. You, they are pre-cooked, so it's very simple to warm them up. My favorite way is either in my air fryer or on a sheet pan in my oven. I've even microwaved them and they taste absolutely delicious. Now they are zero smart points for those of you following the blue plan and the purple plan. And those of us following the green plan, they're gonna range in points depending on how much you have. Anywhere from two to four points, just depending on how many chicken strips you have, but they are delicious. And they are a game changer for a fast, quick, easy meal. I love them. And on the note of the chicken strips, I love to pair them with the bird's eye veggie made mac and cheese. So you're getting a little bonus, like 21 favorite foods here. So I'm going to put a picture of that here as well. The veggie made mac and cheese is so good. You guys, it tastes like legit mac and cheese and it is only five smart points per serving, no matter what plan you're on. So you can have some of the black and chicken strips, some veggie made mac and cheese, a veggie if you want an additional veggie and you have a great comfort food delicious low point dinner so those two things obsessed hope you liked getting a little bonus item highly recommend both of these items number seven are bagels western bagels i love bread i would say that most women love bread not all but most my husband always says women sure like their bread which is True, men like their meat and potatoes, we like our bread. And when I joined WW and I scanned my traditional bagels in the store, I was completely upset that none of those bagels would really fit into my day. I mean, they could, but they're so high in points, anywhere from six to eight smart points. The exception to that rule are the bagel thins, but they're thin so thin. They're not even like a bagel. They're not even worth it. And they're three smart points. So in my opinion, not really worth it. So I did some investigating and I found Western bagel and I have not looked back since Western bagel is amazing. They have several types of bagels. Make sure you are ordering the alternative bagels. Those are the ones that have the lower points. If you order the traditional Western bagel, they're going to be a lot higher in smart points. So again, make sure you order alternative. They have baguettes, which are small mini bagels, and they are only one smart point each. They're great to pair with some eggs, turkey bacon for breakfast, and they're only one smart point. They have full size bagels that range anywhere from two to three smart points. My very favorites are the blueberry, the onion, and I love the healthy, healthy nut, healthy something. I don't know what it's called exactly. I'll put it here on the screen for you guys. That one is only two smart points per bagel. They really truly are delicious. They taste like a regular bagel and you can't beat a full size, thick, bready bagel for two to three smart points versus five to six smart points or those little thins for three points. So highly recommend Western Bagel. They're delicious. My favorite way to eat them is to toss them in the toaster, add a little bit of spray butter, maybe some sugar-free jam, and they are absolutely to die for. My opinion, the best bagel for the points are Western bagels. So check them out. They are linked down in the description box below. I do also have 10% off for you guys, which is amazing from Western bagel. My code is here on the screen for you. If you do take advantage of your, their build your own box, which essentially you add in the bagels you want to purchase, you can also get free shipping on that. And it's already a discounted price. And then you can add my 10% off on top of that with my code here on the screen. So Tons of money saved, bagels in your freezer. Speaking of freezer, make sure when your order comes, you put them directly into your freezer and just thaw them as needed. But highly recommend Western Bagel if you, like me, are a bagel lover. Number six, cottage cheese. Boring, right? Not so much. Let me tell you my favorite way to eat cottage cheese. Actually, I have two favorite ways to eat cottage cheese. Number one, I love cottage cheese with croutons. I know that sounds weird, but you add one point worth of croutons to your two smart points worth of cottage cheese and you break up those croutons in your cottage cheese. So good, you guys. It adds that little bit of savoriness from the croutons and that crunch. I'm telling you, it's delicious. I also love cottage cheese, the number two way is with a little bit of fruit on top. Sometimes I'll buy the no sugar added fruit cups, the mandarin oranges, the peaches, and I'll just drain the liquid out of those cups and then dump the fruit onto my cottage cheese. Delicious. Cottage cheese is high in protein. It's a great source of calcium. It's a great dairy and you can add what you want to it for either zero, one, two additional smart points and make cottage cheese delicious. Also, 
Cottage cheese is great to cook with, so it's nice to have on hand. You can add it as a cheese substitute to a lot of dishes, especially pasta dishes like lasagna, those types of things. Delicious, you guys. Cottage cheese, I never go a week without having it in my fridge. Again, I eat it with my croutons or fruit a couple of times a week, so cottage cheese is definitely on my list. Number five, popcorn. Who doesn't love popcorn? Now you can air pop it yourself, which is how you're gonna get the most popcorn, the biggest bang for your buck, the least amount of smart points is by air popping it yourself. They have your traditional air popper out there. WW also sells a microwave bowl air popper that collapses down for easy storage. So air pop popcorn, you can add whatever you want to it, whatever seasonings, some spray butter, some I can't believe it's not butter light. You can even buy those little popcorn shakers that have the cheese and the ranch and add those on for zero to one smart points. You can also buy the microwavable bags of popcorn. If you buy the 100 calorie bags, they have butter, kettle corn, all the flavors. They're anywhere from three to four smart points. So lots of options, lots of low point options when it comes to popcorn. So if you're looking for that crunchy snack in front of the TV at night and you don't want to reach for all those chips or candy, popcorn's a great way to go. I've been known to pop my own popcorn and take it to the movie. Just saying. Number four, smart sweets. I am a candy lover. I'm a sweets lover. I love me some smart sweets. They are a low sugar candy that tastes delicious i'm telling you guys absolutely positively delicious in my opinion better than most candies you can buy off of the shelf they come in four flavors there are fruity gummy bears sour gummy bears sweet fish and sour blast buddies oh there's five flavors oh my gosh hello i'm missing my favorite flavor peach rings so good you guys three grams of sugar per bag yes you can have the entire bag of smart sweets three grams of sugar, three smart points. I love them. Their ingredients are excellent. They are plant-based. They are so, so delicious. Like I said, my fla favorite flavor is the peach rings. And I also like the Sour Blast Buddies. I actually like them all. For me, my least favorite is the Sour Bears. But I really, really, really love the peach rings, the sweet fish. Oh, so good, you guys. So incredibly delicious. And if you're a candy lover or you want to just have that low point sweet treat after lunch or at the end of the day, this is a great choice. Again, the ingredients are great. The quality is outstanding. And three smart points for an entire bag of candy. Yes, please. You can order them off of the Smart Sweets website. Jen Clayton will get you free shipping. So you can buy them locally at stores, but generally they are less expensive off of the Smart Sweets website. And with my code for free shipping, you don't even have to leave your house. They'll just be delivered to your doorstep. So definitely check them out. They're great for kids. Kids love them. You can throw them in lunches. I always have a bag in my car for an emergency, emergency, candy emergency, or anytime I want something sweet, I just pull out a bag of Smart Sweets because you can't beat three Smart Points for a bag of candy. Number two is peanut butter. I have two favorite peanut butters. I couldn't just pick one. I couldn't just narrow it down to one. So I'm gonna share both of them with you. The first one is Jif Whips. I love Jif Whips because I feel like I am indulging in real, legit peanut butter. Well, I am. It, it is real legit peanut butter, but Jif Whips is delicious. It's an airy whipped peanut butter. It is literal peanut butter. It's just whipped nice and airy, and it is way lower in smart points. You can have more peanut butter for the smart points. Of, I will put the points here on the screen for you for Jif Whips, but it is absolutely delicious, you guys. I mean, it is real peanut butter. You can put it on toast. I like it on, on salary. It is just seriously delicious, delicious peanut butter. If you want to save even more points and you still want that peanut butter flavor, go ahead and move on over to PB2. PB2 is powdered peanut butter. So essentially it is peanut butter in powder form. It is extremely low point. You can have two tablespoons for one smart point. You can mix a little bit of water into it to make peanut butter. I like to add it to my protein shakes. Like I mentioned, I'll just put the actual powder PB2 in my protein shake. They make almond butter PB2, chocolate PB2, you name it, 
they make it. My good friend Amanda Lewis over here on YouTube, highly recommend you guys check out her channel. Add her to your list of WW channels. She is amazing. She came up with a PB2 recipe that is to die for. It is PB2 powder and sugar-free maple syrup and a splash of almond milk. And that, my friends, literally tastes like peanut butter too. And it is one to two smart points. So you have peanut butter options. You don't have to give up peanut butter on WW. So Jif Whips, a little higher in points. PB2, a little lower in points, but great dupes for peanut butter. And we are at the end. We are at number one. I wanna let you guys know, I probably could have come up with 40 or 50 different favorite foods, but 20 for 2020, it was, I narrowed it down, but my number one favorite food on WW, there's actually two parts to this. One is a food and one is a drink. The food is built bars. So those of you that are new have probably not heard of built bars. Those of you that have been around a while probably have. It's my favorite thing ever. You guys, these are protein bars, but these aren't your mama's protein bars. These taste like candy bars. They are coated in chocolate. They have a delicious nougaty center. If you eat them room temperature, it's nougaty like a marshmallow. You can throw them in your fridge or your freezer and it changes that center and that consistency. So incredibly delicious. It is a full size bar for three smart points. The only bar that is four smart points is the peanut butter. My very favorites, I'm gonna give you my top five favorites because I get this question a lot. So if you are going to look into purchasing Built Bar, these are the flavors I would recommend. Number one is coconut almond. It's absolutely delicious. It is a almond joy, a legit almond joy, and it is three smart points. Number two is mint brownie delight. That is brownie to the max with a little bit of mint. So good. Number three is peanut butter. That is the one that is an extra point. So that one is four smart points instead of three smart points, but there's little bits of peanuts in there. It has this delicious peanut butter flavor, kind of a mix between a Butterfinger and a Reese's. Absolutely delicious. I also love the chocolate raspberry. They reformulated that a while ago and the raspberry is flavoring is so good in there. It is like eating chocolate covered raspberries. I mean, it's really truly that delicious. And number five for me is your traditional coconut. It tastes like a Mounds bar. So if you are a Mounds or Almond Joy bar fan, we've got you covered with Built Bars. Those are my top five favorites. I love them. They're so good, you guys. I highly recommend. I would never have a day go by without Bill Bars. I eat one every single day. Actually, I can't tell you the last time I didn't have one in a day because for three points, I'm getting a candy bar full of protein. Anywhere from 15 to 20 grams of protein, you guys, in a bar. Fiber, fat, all the good things that keep you full and keep you satisfied. Also, part of the built or part of the built bar line is built boost, and that is their vitamin water enhancer. This again, not your mama's water enhancer. There's nothing artificial in these. They are full of plant ingredients that give you energy. Zero points, zero caffeine. They taste so good, you guys. My favorite, favorite flavors are the blackberry lemonade, the strawberry vanilla, and the pineapple strawberry. They are so good. You just shake a packet into your water bottle, and I'm not kidding you, it gives you that added boost of energy that you'd get from an energy drink, but it's so much better for you, and it's full of real, whole, natural ingredients. I use it as a pre-workout. I think it's a great pre-workout because I get that boost of energy, and it tastes delicious. So definitely add Built Bar, Built Boost, to your pantry on WW. I do have a code for that as well for 10% off and free shipping. It is here on the screen. There's a link down in the description box. You can just click the link. It'll take you to the Built Bar website. It'll automatically apply the 10% in free shipping and you can shop away. Again, definitely recommend Built Bar. That's why it was number one on my list because in my opinion, it is the number one food to be happy, and full of deliciousness on your Weight Watchers journey. So definitely recommend Built Bar. All right, guys, that's it. My top 20 WW foods for 2020. I hope I gave you some great ideas, maybe shared a few products you hadn't thought about, or maybe gave you some things that you thought weren't WW friendly that you can surely include into your daily eating. You can eat whatever you want on WW. You just have to watch your portion size and work the points into your day. When you're out of points, you're done eating. It's as simple as that. So welcome if you're new to WW. I'm so happy that you decided to join us. It is such a great program. 
such a great community, such a great place to be. It is sustainable. It's a lifestyle. It's something that you can do your entire life and be successful. So welcome if you're new. Now, if you're here and you're just kind of on the fence on whether or not you want to take the plunge into WW, down in the description box, I do have a link that will give you a free month. You can try out WW for an entire month and make sure that it's the right program for you. And in return, I get a free month as well. So it's a win-win for both of us. So again, Thank you for watching. I hope I gave you some great ideas. All of the links for the products that I can find are down in the description box below. So check that out. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and hit that little bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. Thumbs up this one. It really helps out my channel, puts me into that YouTube algorithm for WW and brings all of you great people to my channel so that I can share all of my favorite things with you. Thank you guys again so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.